Okay, so I don't know if you can see me or not, because uh, I'm holding an actual camera, and it's not like I get to see your face anyways, so whatever. Um, so I'm going to go get my check. Um, I live in the ever so quaint Lakeview on the border of Roscoe Village, which is right across the tracks. Uh, I live right at Belmont and Ravenswood. Really, really fucking close to where you used to live on Melrose. Uh, like, just a couple blocks, in fact. It's kind of weird. Um, but, I only got like 15 minutes on my gig card, so I'm gonna actually, uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a, a little bit of my day. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna take you throughout my day. Um, it's a typical Friday. We go do errands and that type of thing, and maybe we'll get some drunk stuff too, possibly. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy my day. So one of the points I wanted to do was that you miss Chicago, so... How about that? How long has it been since you've done that, huh? I'm really sorry about the camera angles. I'm sure it's disgusting. You probably see my boogers or some shit. But, uh... No, I'm at the Polina station. And we're going upstairs to go catch the train that I actually just missed by like, I don't know, a couple minutes or some shit. But it gave me time to smoke my cigarette, so I'm fine with that. Um, give you a panoramic view here real quick. I don't know how much of that you can see. Some CTA map for you. I know you missed that. Um, so yeah, this is where I wait for the train. I take it two stops to Belmont, and uh, you catch up with me at Belmont. How about that? So I'm almost to get, almost about there to get my check, and I run into my friend Avila, and she's accosting me because it's too windy out here and we can't light a cigarette, and all of a sudden it's my fault. And it's lit. And it's lit now. So... You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Um... So that's how that went down. Um, You're yeah. gonna have so many followers with that. We're making video logs fucking. S God, this is weird. I really don't know what to talk about. I understand how. Okay, so my friend Jesse, she, her and I haven't really been talking a whole lot, and so she created a video. Oh, so now you're my cinematographer. <laughs> <laughs> um, she created a video and it was of her on her motorcycle talking to me about everything. Wait, on her what? Motorcycle. Do the thing again? Okay. And so... <laughs> and so, um... I told her that I would make a video back because we haven't been talking or anything. And... So this is, uh, this is by my work. Hey. My 
have, are you recording right now? Yes. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, you can have this on posterity. I still you have you on the Mariano's work list. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow, so Saturday and Sunday when you're here working, tell the pod, say, hey, is there an outbound for Mariano's? Okay. And they'll give you work. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, Marty. Thank you, Marty. That's because I'm the only motherfucker there that can take Mariano's calls on the weekend. <laughs> Uh, how many minutes does it say on the thing? Two. Two minutes? And 15 seconds. What, we've been recording that long? Yeah. Oh, God. This is our friend Vince. Vince, say something about Ashton. Hello, everyone. We are very fond of Ashlyn, and we think he's a very snazzy dresser. And, uh, he says he loves us, too, and that makes us shy. Goodbye. Got like clean clothes on and stuff. So while Vince berates me, I'm gonna update you with it. I just got my check. Um, oh yeah, I'm sorry. My son of photographer has to take over now. Um, I just got my check. This is where I work. It's, uh, it's basic. It's brick. It's not really much. I would have took you inside, but that's breach, breach of contract. You know that whole thing. Um, so this is my buddy Vince. I don't know if you saw him. You can go ahead for a second. You get, yeah. uh, Vince and I have been helping each other on the path of righteousness. Um, that whole thing. And uh, he likes to drink. He likes Malort. I don't know if you know about Malort. But he, uh, he likes Malort. And he smoked cigarettes, and and Dad will be a nut. He was about he was in the punk scene during the 80s. Uh, he's been in a lot of bands and that type of thing. So yeah, my friend is a really big always as a substitute. Yeah, as a substitute. Except for Dementia 13, the Devil Bell Hippies. And uh, so yeah, we'll catch up in a moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was eating the beans and she was eating the weed. <laughs> Another kicker. That was the trip before. Oh, shit. So. I doubt that you can see me. Uh, there's a street light coming up here. Um, I cash my check and um, did some errands and such, and then uh, hung out with some friends that you saw earlier. Um, and then we went and um, what did we do? Oh, we went over to one of their friends' places and then they weren't home, so we went to McDonald's and I had a huge slice of pizza before that and then I had a 10-piece McNugget, so my stomach is really fucking full and I'm probably going to take a really awesome shit later. Um, so I was going to go to Goldie's, which is a bar over here, um, but Rib Fest is this weekend, so... I didn't really feel like doing that because it's probably packed. So I went to my liquor store, Pelly's, over right, right off the Polina Brown line, and uh, got uh, two six packs of High Life Tall Boys to cap off my night. I like play some Skyrim, get a little drunk. Smoke a few cigarettes. Maybe look up a few Kathy Griffin. Kathy Griffin uh, videos later. And call it a night. Because I have work at 3 p.m. tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, sorry I didn't really answer any of your questions or anything. Uh, it's kind of new for me. So, maybe in the next video I put up we'll be better in that regard. Um, but I hope you enjoyed 
seeing the city and feeling a little bit more nostalgic, I guess. Um, and I hope your night is going well, and uh, feel free to respond back. I'd be more than happy to do this kind of thing more often. Take care.